The Honorable, member, the Honorable Leader of the Opposition. When the Prime Minister doubled the debt, drove inflation and interest rates to their highest levels in a generation, he said he had no choice. Every penny he spent was necessary. Along comes ArriveCan, a $54 million app we didn't need, didn't work, and could have been done for two or $300,000. Now we learn, uh, based on the Ombudsman's audit, that 76% of the contractors did absolutely no work for the money they received. Will the Prime Minister get taxpayers back this stolen money and stop the waste that is not worth here, the cost? Here, here, here. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, Canadians have learned through bitter experience that when Conservatives talk about the public finances, what they're really talking about is cutting the government support Canadians depend on. What they are talking about is cutting early learning and childcare, which is supporting labour force participation at record levels in Canada, and by the way, making life more affordable for Canadian families. They want to cut dental care, Mr. Speaker. They want to cut essential investments in our green future. Indeed. Indeed. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. We want to cut waste and mismanagement uh, that has right. risen to a level that is not worth the cost after eight years of this Prime Minister. Speaking of wasteful, uh, this Prime Minister loves to lecture Canadians on how they use energy. Uh, he says that he's just like every other Canadian when he uh, stays with a friend at an $89,000 a week vacation. The average Canadian uh, emits 15 tonnes of carbon per year. His trip emitted 100 tonnes of carbon in one week. Did he pay the full carbon tax on each tonne he admitted for his luxurious vacation? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, since we're asking questions of MPs, I have a couple of questions for the Leader of the Opposition. I'd like to know how much cheating the 19-room government mansion that he lives in costs. That would be interesting for Canadians to understand. And, you know, the good news for Canadians is we're helping them with the cost of heating with the carbon rebate. So I want to know, did his family cash their carbon rebate check? It's oh. almost a thousand bucks. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. I can tell the, the member that I pay for my own vacations and that of my family. And, <laughs> and M M Mr. Speaker, Canadians who pay for their own vacations are also paying too much for food. We have a bill, a common sense conservative bill, C234, that would take the carbon tax off the farmers that feed us and the consumers that desperately need to put nutrition on their table. Will the Prime Minister stop blocking the bill, pass this law so that Canadians can afford food? The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance. Mr. Speaker, people who live in glass houses really should not throw stones. And the Leader of the Opposition may be bragging about what he pays for, but I think Canadians should understand he doesn't pay any rent on that 19-room mansion that he lives in. In fact, he's been on the government payroll for more than 20 years, and he qualified for a full pension at 35, Mr. Speaker. And now he wants to take the rebates away from Ontario families. A thousand bucks a year, he wants to take that away. That was great.